Have you ever been like curious on how Respawn or the game devs for Apex Legends, how do they release a legend? What are their thoughts and stuff behind that? Well, I have an interview clip from Rain Day Jamie. He interviewed Daniel Z, who, you know, you're probably thinking, who's Daniel Z? He's a lead designer for Apex Legends. He's one of the, like, four lead designers for Apex Legends. And he's basically in charge of all the buffs, the nerfs, how the characters play, stuff like that. All their abilities, making the legends, stuff like that. So he's in charge of that. And overall, there's a quick little clip I'll play right now just to give you some like, insight on how the devs, I like, think, when releasing a legend, how to, like, should we buff them, should we nerf them, should we, like, bring them out super OP, stuff like that. He also brings up Horizon, saying she's in a perfectly balanced spot. I, I looked at this, like, 20 times. I said, how? How is Horizon in a perfect spot? Honestly, I feel like she's a little bit too slow. Um, I should have, I feel like they should have taken the nerf. Like her strafe, you know, like make her not strafe in the going up her Q instead of like the speed going up your Q. Does that make sense? Like overall, like whatever, whatever, I'm not gonna argue. Uh, here's a clip right here, and then we'll talk about some more Apex news. And Horizon came out OP. We nerfed the tactical, she's in a perfect spot now. Right. But like uh, maybe we, maybe it feels a little bit bad to be in the tactical now because you're used to the old like super fast tactical. But right. she's like she's basically holding hands with Valk in terms of win rates. She's in a really healthy spot now, right? Perfect. So it is so my point is when you release something OP, it is very clear what part of the kit is problematic because mm. it'll stand out like a sore thumb. Right. When you release something underpowered, you don't know why right. the character is under. It could be any part of their kit. So you're basically struggling in this void of uh, feedback and that makes it harder and it makes it more likely that you'll end up over buffing them or you end up buffing the wrong part of them. So my, and, and this is not like, by the way, this is not revelatory information. This is like, uh, if you talk to any of my old friends at, uh, at, at Riot, they'll tell you the exact same thing. You aim to release a character stronger than you think is correct for the long term because it's easier to adjust them downward than to adjust them upward. Yeah, and uh, I mean, perfectly well said. I, I agree with it. All right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was, boom, we got a tweet from Josh saying, looking for some folks who play Apex and experience audio issues, audio cutouts, and etc. about joining me in a journey to trap down some of these issues. You know, and I, when I see this tweet, I'm just like, this is great, right? Like, this is great. Fitzing audio, you know, because I'm getting jump padded on by a rep Octane team, no audio. You know, I got Gibby sitting right there, coming up right behind me, aiming down sight, walking, like, waddling around, no audio. I got Bangalore right behind me, no audio. Lifeline resing, no audio. Like, what the, what? <laughs> Sometimes my game just cuts out with audio too, especially by the waterfall. It'll just cut out. It'll just go silent. I'm just like, well, I can't hear nothing. Might as well just play music. Why do I have headphones? You know, like what? What's the point? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was just being a human. So this streamer called Lulu Lovely, uh, she almost has like a million followers on Twitch. She's signed to NRG, really like big Apex player. Honestly, like one of like the bigger names. I feel like she's like the biggest female content creator for Apex Legends in general. Uh, she was like receiving a ton of hate today. Why? Just because haters are gonna hate. You know? Uh, we got a tweet from Term saying nothing hurts more than turning it on to the stream to see nothing but hateful things said about you. Overall, like, don't don't be mean to streamers. You know, like Johnny says, the amount of hate thrown around in the Apex community is so depressing, man. The literal reason I stepped back from streaming as much was because of the consistent stupidity from people who had the need to judge everything I did. You know, like, streamers, content creators, the people that you watch, maybe even your teammates that you're playing against, these are all human beings. So maybe try not to be toxic to those people. You know, like, Lulu doesn't deserve that. She's worked super hard, and just to receive hate, like, just, like, even hurts me. It's just like, damn, like, that's that's messed up. Like, no, no need to hate her. She's not DDoSing the servers. She's not, like, some, like, crazy weirdo. You know, like, she's a, like, super chill streamer. So why should she hate? No idea. Stop being mean to streamers or content creators or even your teammates just be a nice person we're all playing the video game right we all like playing apex legends why do we have to be toxic about it that's the video for today love you guys all oh also alex tweeted out saying she's like looking for people to hire response trying to hire people when i see this this is great right it means the game is better it means more people are going to be more hands on deck basically and keeping the ship afloat make sure this game doesn't die <laughs> and you know hopefully fits that audio because I can't hear nothing in this game. Anyway, love you guys all. Bye.